Hey everybody, welcome back to another gear review edition of Nick's Saxophone World. Thank you so much for joining us again. If you like this video and my other gear review videos, please make sure you hit like and subscribe so that you can keep up to date on all this stuff. All right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the BAM K-Bean Tenor Saxophone Case. So let me give you a little bit of a background on to why I bought this case before we take a close up look at it and actually show you some of the features, go over some of the pros and cons of this particular saxophone case. As most of you know, I have an Ishimori Woodstone tenor saxophone and I love the horn and it came with a great GL case. Thing is awesome, very, very protective a lot of room inside the case. I, I loved it, it was suiting me fine. But then I realized I had to travel with my horn a lot. And the latest round of travel was actually going out to the NAM conference in Los Angeles in January. And I realized that that GL case was just way too big to bring on a flight with me and not have to check the horn. Now, obviously, as we all know, being saxophone players, we never wanna check our instruments. We never wanna let our instruments out of our sight. So I decided that I had to get a smaller, rugged flight case for my instrument. And I decided on this one because right now, currently, I do believe that this is probably the best case on the market when it comes to this particular need, which is bringing it on a flight, a small, slim, protective case that I can bring with me wherever I need to go. So that's why I ended up getting the case. As I said, I love that GL case that came with my horn, but it's just not as practical in certain situations because it's so large. It's one of those large rectangular cases. So I'm sure you can imagine what that looks like in your head. So I decided to go with this and overall I'm pretty happy with it. But as we're gonna talk about when we do our pros and cons list, there's one particular con with this case that I just don't know if I can get past to tell you the truth and uh, might be a deal breaker for me in the long term. So let's start by talking about price. I think that I got this case for just under $250 and that is because it was on sale. I've scoured the internet and looked for a website, ProWins, that was having a sale on this. They had a great deal going on this case so I managed to get it, I think, for just under $250. But usually, it's more than that. So normally this case retails for like just under $400. That's the most common price that I'm finding is like around $380 or $390. So that's expensive. And I truly think if you're spending that much on a case, they should think a little bit more about the function and security of the case that you're gonna buy, considering that our most prized possession as saxophone players is inside this thing. I need to be 100% certain that nothing bad is going to happen to my instrument. So that's the price range. You can find a sale, which there are lots of sales that go on on a regular basis on these instrument cases. But if you're gonna pay full retail, you're looking at just under 400 US dollars for this particular case. So I don't know, you can decide whether that's a pro or a con, but I think that that's pretty expensive. And again, I wouldn't mind paying that much if it wasn't for this one fatal flaw. All right, let's take a close up look at the case and we'll talk about the different features and again, the pros and cons of it. So let's take a close up look at this case. So you can see it is very, very formed to the tenor saxophone, meaning that it's not much bigger than the actual horn is, which makes this case fantastic for traveling and being in situations where you don't have a lot of space for the horn inside the case. Those big rectangular cases are just really bad for a lot of situations, including flying. So this is a really nice feature of it. You'll notice that the case stays protective while not being very big. And here's one major pro of this case that I really like is the actual material that they use inside the case. It gives a little bit, 
which gives the instrument on impact a little bit of give so that the horn doesn't bend. The actual body of the horn is not going to bend on you, but it's also rigid enough that you're not gonna be afraid of the horn bouncing around inside. So you can see my cleaning cloth was in there and I'm gonna talk about storage in a second because that's a major issue for this case. But it's very, very, very slim line and I do enjoy that. It doesn't take up a lot of space and the horn still fits very snugly. Now, after talking to a lot of my friends that have these cases, it's clear that a lot of different instruments will actually fit into this case. I have friends with vintage Selmers. Those fit into this case very nicely. I have the Ishimori Woodstone, which fits into it very nicely, and I believe Yamahas will fit in here as well. So you've got a lot of options, which is really nice. A lot of different horns will fit in here. And if you're somebody who owns multiple horns, that's gonna be a huge plus for you because you could take one out, throw the other one in, and just kind of go for it, all right? So there's a plus. The second thing that I really, really like about this, this might be one of my favorite features of this, is this case has fantastic backpack straps. These backpack straps are awesome. So there's a carabiner system on the bottom and on the top. And this is really nice. I've never had one of these let go. They have a nice protective sleeve on the top and these locks on the carabiners are really, really solid. I've never had one come off after tightening it down enough. And I love the backpack straps. That is something that I need on a case. Because I remember having this old case that was super heavy. And when you had just the one shoulder strap, man, it would start to hurt your shoulder. And I love being able to just throw this on my back and go. Now, the other thing, because the case is so slimline, it's very light, which is really cool as well. So when I throw it on my back, I barely even notice that it's there. That's a huge plus. I also really like the material that they use for the outside. It's very, very rigid. You can see that mine is a little bit scuffed up at this point because I've been using it a lot. And uh, it's been thrown in and out of cars, in and out of planes. It's been brought to about, I don't know, a couple hundred gigs at this point. And it's holding up really, really nicely. So I do like the outer. Uh, material that they use, the shell that they use for this. And I do have to say, I feel confident about my instrument being in this case. I feel like it's protected and that peace of mind is obviously huge. I've got my biggest investment as a musician in this case at all times. So it's really important to me that it's protected. So let me grab the horn and show you the fit. Here's my horn actually inside the case. You can see there's absolutely zero play in the horn. It fits so snugly inside this case. I love that. So I know there's not gonna be any wiggling of my horn around in this case, and it's very, very protective. Again, one of the biggest things about certain case manufacturers is that the horn doesn't fit perfectly inside whatever molded material is in here. This one fits perfectly, so I cannot complain about that. Okay, now let's talk about some of the cons of this case, and there definitely are a few, unfortunately. Let's start with the storage space. Now, this is also one of the pros. We talked about how slimline the case is, how it doesn't take up a lot of space. That also doesn't leave a lot of space for equipment. This little well right here is the only place you have to store anything. So I find what I can keep in there, my cleaning swab, and I can keep like a reed case. I use one of those Diodario reed cases. That's about it. You're not fitting much else in there. So if you're like somebody that likes to bring around like multiple boxes of reeds or things like that, you're not gonna be able to do that anymore with this case. It also has this tiny little compartment here that I find I can keep my neck strap and my earplugs in, and that's about it. So no place to put the neck. That's a huge thing. I keep the neck in the bell. I think a lot of other people do that, but if you're not somebody that likes to keep the neck in the bell, this is definitely not the case for you because there's nowhere to put the neck except inside the actual horn in this case. So that's a huge thing, lack of storage. I think what they could have done was actually put a pocket on the outside of the case, but obviously they didn't do that, so that's gonna be an issue. Now. Let's go to the biggest con and what is really the deal breaker for me on this case. Time to get really up close and personal here. So this is the biggest drawback on this case for me. 
and is really the deal breaker. This is why I'm probably not going to own this case super long term and I'm going to go out and try to find something else. It's the latches. So the latches on this case are push button latches, meaning that you push the button and the latch opens, right? Now, it's kind of a cool design, but there's a huge problem. If you bump one of these, it opens automatically. So you can imagine a scenario, and in fact, I've heard many, many stories, unfortunately, of the three of these latches opening and the horn actually falling out of the case. Now it is pretty far-fetched that all three of them are gonna open at once, letting the horn fall out of the case, but if there's even a hint of that that's gonna happen, that makes me extremely nervous because we all think, oh, that could never ever happen to me, and then it does. And again, then your most prized possession falls out onto the ground, and there you are out thousands of dollars to get the thing fixed, right? So this is huge, this is the deal breaker. I don't know why they can't just switch these out for different latches. There's so many better latch designs than this particular one. Now you'll notice there is a key and it does come with a set of keys. So you could lock the latch, but I'll tell you what, my case goes, my horn goes in and out of the case so many times every day, there is no way I'm gonna be pulling a little tiny key out of my pocket or out of my wallet or whatever every time I want to get into this stupid case. That's just not going to happen. When I took it on the plane, I locked it. I locked it because I knew that I wasn't going to be taking the horn out for the next 12 hours or whatever, right? But on a daily basis, that's a deal breaker for me. Honestly, it's just three pieces of hardware. They could switch out for something that's like 10 times more secure. And this is really the biggest drawback to me. Again, if there's even any chance that this case is going to open on me when I don't want it to, that's a deal breaker. Yeah, I'm not gonna let my horn fall out of the case and onto the ground. Just thinking about it makes me shudder, right? And again, it's this easy. So this case is, this latch is closed and not locked, but it's in the position where the case is closed. Watch this, that's all it takes. It opens. That is so unfortunate. And really, in my opinion, is the thing that may not make this case viable for a professional musician that is traveling everywhere they go with it. And again, for the price point of this case, to not be able to switch out a little plastic latch to something metal, something more secure, one of the other hundreds of designs of latches that are out there, it's just inexcusable to me. I don't know why they can't fix this problem. And I know that they've had saxophones act asking them to fix this problem for a long time, and they just won't do it. So bam, you make a great case with one major drawback that I can't look past. I really do like these cases, but come on, you gotta switch out the latches. You have to switch out the latches. Okay, so now that you've seen the close-up look of the actual case, now you can make a better decision on whether this case would be right for you. We've talked about so many things. We talked about the fact that it is fairly protective. It's got the great backpack straps. It's really snug fit on the horn, which is really nice. It should fit most saxophones. It's very, very slim profile, very easy to bring on a flight or throw in a tour van or something like that. Uh, the cons, obviously, these latches. Man, I, I really, really wish they would do something about these latches because this would be a great case. Another drawback is there's no storage for anything. You've got the full story on the case at this point, and I would love to hear what you think. I know a lot of you out there probably own this case already. How has your experience been with it? Have you loved it? Have you hated it? Has your horn fallen out onto the ground because of the latches? I don't know. Why don't you let me know in the comments below? I'd love to start a discussion on the merits and the drawbacks of this particular case. So overall, I'm not going to give it a grade, but I do like the case. It's just a couple of things that I can't get past on it, unfortunately. I will continue to use it until I find something better. And when I do find something better, you know that I will show you exactly 
what I'm using in place of this case. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these gear reviews, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And give me some comments uh, on what you would like to see reviewed next. I want to do these for you guys, whatever products you are most wondering about. Those are the companies I can reach out to and get those products to bring them to you. Do our close-up look, do our product test, and let you know whether it would be a good investment or not. All right, everybody, we'll see you on the next video. Hope you have a really good one, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.